that's be excited, mate. Big games like this, what you're involved in putting on. Yeah, absolutely. It's uh, you know we all get excited by it. The players, the supporters, um, the media love it. They build it up, and uh, you know as, as a coaching team, we we find it a great challenge and exciting too. Mm. Having watched Collingwood a bit, I'm assuming you have lately. Do you think they're a better side than since you played them back in round nine? Yeah, they probably are. Their results show that they have, and uh, they've they've had a lot of player players come through in into the team and play well, and they've got some good players that are out of the team at the moment. So you'd have to say that they're a better team. Is that one of the areas they've improved on the depth? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I just I think just their uh, their their on ground stuff that uh, they're playing some exciting footy and some very good defensive footy as well. So good balance. Um, you know, if we do end up meeting in the grand final, based on re- recent events of uh, you know the team who wins the premiership ends up getting being beaten during the season by the other team. Um, yeah, we should probably go out and lose this game. <laughs> I'm not so sure whether we're we guaranteed a spot in the grand final yet. Mm. Do you get Jimmy Bartel back for Saturday? Very, very likely we'll get him back, and Podsy Hardley will be very likely too. So we're going to have a bit of a di- bit of a dilemma of who we put out. Mm. What about Stokes and Corey after the coffee on the weekend? Yes, they did. Yeah, there was a look. You know, Lingy had a bit of a sore toe, and and uh, Chappie got a knock on his knee. But um, from all reports, at this early stage of the week, they're all in pretty good shape and should be ready to play. So. Yeah, it'd be hard to put two people out. You said the change in your rucks last week. How did you see Trent West? Where did he do enough for you, Bob? Oh, he played well, yeah. He uh, he played well, and we're very, very happy with him. I'm glad he got the game, and um, yeah, it looks like he... Well, Podge will come in, and it means we've got Podge Hardley, Moons, Hawkins, Ottens, West. That's a lot of big guys, so we'll just have to wait till tomorrow. To, and it'll be a hard selection. You know, the thing that... Um, you know, what happens in big games usually what happens is players put a lot of a lot of focus and concentration on both elements of the game the attacking side and the defensive side and uh, yeah sure we go out and ask our players to attack and score as many goals and move the ball as quickly quickly as we can and Collingwood will do the same but at the same time there's enormous pressure we put on from the opposition so usually find they're, they're not the event or the types of games that we all want to probably see uh, it's going to be just a a real contest, probably low scoring, probably um, you know lots of tackles and and lots of mistakes. And um, I hope that's not the case, but they usually are. Who did you sit on diet last time? I can't recall. No, I don't know. I can't recall either. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we don't really sit people on people that much. Um, you know, those sorts of. You know, that's the thing that you. Now you look at an opposition sometimes, and you think, well, you know, they, oh, they've got five or six really great players, and um, but we 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 haven't for four years really done more than one tagger. Um, then he tags or plays with a person, but still gets 20 possessions. And Enright sort of half does it, and sometimes Jimmy Bartel, like Jimmy did it in the grand final last year for three quarters. But our intent is is to just go out and play on a person. Um, so if Didac plays in the midfield, he'll get someone. If he plays down back. Um, you know, he, he might have two or three opponents for the day. With that, Swan looks like it you know, doesn't matter who's playing on him at the moment, they, they just can't stop him. So. Does he reach the same level as your elite midfielders, do you think? Well, there's a lot of comparisons there with, him, with Gary Ablett and Jimmy Bartell. Do you think he's at that same level? Uh, he's a very good player. Yeah, very, very good player. Yeah, um, yep, oh, I think he's one of the best in the competition. Mm. Could you go head to head with someone try and yeah, that's what we did last time in the end with a lot of possessions and our guys got a fair bit too, so um, look that's what teams do against uh, you know, some players like Gary at times had hard tags and they've worked. Other times he's he's been tagged really heavily and, and still got a bucket load of the ball and played well. There's been times when teams have put like an offensive player on him and tried to, you know, get that player some possessions. It's worked sometimes and hasn't worked, so yeah, but uh, with Swanee, you, yeah, it was probably a, have to work it out tomorrow. You'll have to wait and see.